Okay, it's time for sports. NFL fans hopeful that in about a month, training camps will open here in Southern California and across the country. But with the resurgence of COVID-19, may not be so easy. The NFL Players Association's top doctors advising players to avoid working out with teammates to prevent the spread of coronavirus. A number of quarterbacks, including Tampa's Tom Brady, have been throwing with teammates. And though Brady is healthy, ESPN says two members of the Bucks organization have tested positive today for COVID-19. At least 10 NFL teams have reported a positive test for at least one of their players. The NFL and the union are continuing to work to finalize their protocols for the players' safe return to team facilities for training camp again, hopefully next month. The situation is even more dicey in college football. Today, Sports Illustrated is reporting over 30 players have been quarantined at LSU. Not all in isolation have tested positive, but they're still waiting test results for some of them. The Tigers began voluntary workouts about 11 days ago, so that really falls into the COVID timeline. Kansas State has suspended all football workouts the next 14 days after 14 athletes across all sports, not just football, tested positive. On Friday, the Clemson Tigers revealed 23 of its players have also tested positive. Meantime, COVID-19 isn't just football's problem. Yesterday, Nick Watney had to pull out of a PGA Tour event in South Carolina because he tested positive for the coronavirus. The tour tested 11 people who were in contact with Watney all have tested negative right now. Do you like this view? Okay, it's golf. Just picture perfect on a Saturday. Last week's winner, Daniel Berger, still hot. Closed his round on 18th. Look at that. <laughs> Jarred a 30-footer for birdie. He was one of six players to shoot 63 today. Another was Englishman Tyrell Hatton. His eighth birdie of the day, there it is, it drops on the 18th. Hatton was the clubhouse leader at that point, 15 under, but he had plenty of company. Abraham, Abraham Answer on the 13th hole, but it seems like everybody makes every putt in the highlights. We need to show somebody missing one. Uh, also atop the leader, 15 under. Keep an eye on this, former U.S. Open champ, Webb Simpson tomorrow. His approach on sixth. Ah, see, okay, we showed somebody that missed one. That would have been an eagle, though. Ryan Palmer also at 15 under, so we do have a four-way tie with 18 holes to play. Finally, when COVID-19 forced officials to move the Kentucky Derby to September, that made the Belmont Stakes the first leg of horse racing's Triple Crown, and they did that today. The four to five favorite, Tis the Law, became the first New York bred horse in 138 years to win the Belmont Stakes, powering his way to a four-link victory over Dr. Post. It was also a breakthrough for the 82-year-old trainer, Barclay Tag. He now has a career triple crown after also training Funny Side. That was a long time ago. The Kentucky Derby is up next September 4th.